Hey people, it's Ruben from Hijack the Horticulture here. I'm um, just doing another gardening video. Haven't done much lately because work's been slow. Um, but I've got an opportunity to show you how to compost um, grass clippings this time. Um, so I'm going to catch the grass clippings from this section along here um, with my, one of my newer mowers. Um, that's what Series 8 um, color engine. I haven't done too many videos, but that's just why I've decided to use it for this one. Um, I've got a compost pile over there, so I'll show you um, how you do it. So you can't just leave um, grass clippings in a pile to decompose. Um, it doesn't allow very much oxygen to get through them if they're just left in a pile. Um, if they're just left in a pile around a tree or something, they just go um, they just go dry. They lose all of their nutrients, and they just sit there in a pile doing nothing, not breaking down at all. And if they use this mulch that way in a big, you know, thick pile, they actually prevent water from getting to the roots. Like, all mulch does that to an extent, but when you've got like, you know, a metre or, you know, a couple of metres, or, you know, a lot of mulch around it, the more water has to get through it. Whereas you really want like, a, if you're going to mulch something, you really want about an inch, maybe two inches max of mulch, um, going feet of grass clippings that don't break down at all ever, whereas mulch usually does. Um, standard mulch, um, wood chip and that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, um, if you want to reuse um, grass clippings properly, you either um, mulch them into the lawn, um, put a mulch bug in your mower, just leave them in the where they drop in the lawn. They break down that way because there's not big clumps of them. Um, or you can do what I'm going to show you here today and you compost them aerobically, which means you turn them. Um, and I usually do it with a heap of other compost materials. Um, in this instance, in the moment, there, there's um, alpaca manure and coffee grind and leaves. Um, waste coffee grind, not fresh coffee grind. Fresh coffee grind still acidic, but waste coffee grind's fine. Um, yeah, so I've done previous videos talking about the standard for composting as well. You've got to turn it for at least two weeks and you've got to turn it at least five times um, over two weeks. You've got to turn it pretty really. There's an old video on that. But, um, yeah, that's, you bring it down aer aerobically in the presence of oxygen. Um, breaks it down faster, a lot faster, a lot more efficiently. Doesn't smell as bad and because it raises the temperature, it kills most of the seeds in the compost so it doesn't spread weeds as bad. Anyway, I'm going to start the mower, mow the strip, and I'll show you how to show you the process of turning them into a into a um, compost pile. off and I'll show you how to turn the grass clippings into a compost pile. Put some clippings in there. It's a very well maintained lawn. There's not many clippings in there as you can see but still show you the gist of what I need what, what you need to do to do this. So here's my compost pile. Um, going to spread these in it and turn them into it with a, a garden fork. Yeah, so you just put it in there and use your pitchfork or garden fork or mulch fork, whatever you want to call it, to turn it in and turn, turn it and dig into it, lift it up and turn it and dig it into it, lift it up and turn it over. 
um, and you usually go, I usually go from the top onto itself and the bottom back into itself. That way it cycles all of it through to kill all the seeds in it. every two to three days. I try and turn it every day. Um, if you add water to it every couple of days, that speeds up the breakdown, the decomposition process. Um, and it also raises the temperature more, killing more seeds. So yeah, well, that's how you compost grass clippings. Um, the proper way, they'll actually break down doing that. Alright, thanks for watching. See you on the worksite next time. Bye.